Other big story of the day today, younger children, children younger than five years old, could soon be eligible for a COVID-19 vaccine. Pfizer expected to seek an emergency use authorization from the Food and Drug Administration as early as today. Right now, it's a two-dose vaccine for children age six months to five years. Studies are ongoing to see if three doses would offer greater protection for this age group. The dose is not really the important part. It's our body's response to the dose that's the important part. Dr. Robert Frank's team at Ohio's Cincinnati Children's Hospital has been studying the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine in these younger age groups since last summer. The hospital provided this video. They told us today they did not yet have an update to share on camera. But if authorized, this shot would be the first COVID-19 vaccine available for the youngest children. In early trials, they were testing 10 micrograms in kids ages 2 and older. And for the 6 to 24 month olds, we're actually even going down to 3 micrograms, so even a smaller dose. Late last year, Pfizer extended its vaccine trial in younger children after two child size doses didn't seem to produce the immunity response expected in children ages 2 to 5. It did appear to do so, however, in children up to age 2. At the time, according to the company, a third three microgram dose was added as part of the trial at least two months after the second. But as Omicron is now on the decline and linked to milder illness in younger children. You see it causing more sinus infections, uh, more, you know, runny noses, uh, coughs and that sort of thing. Cedarville University infectious disease and pharmacy specialist Dr. Zach Jenkins says... It does have some parents wondering about the need for a vaccine in these younger age groups. He says it's still an important option. Because there's an individual risk to kind of consider. He says while healthy kids may recover quickly, there's still a lot of risk for children with compromised immunity. He says expanded use of a vaccine in these other age groups would give parents and children an option for protection we don't have right now. Your pediatrician, based on their knowledge of your child and your knowledge of your child, you know, together, you may have a different perspective on that. You may decide two doses or even three doses is more beneficial. Got a lot going on. We're still going to consider uh, more as we get more information. But the two and three dose vaccine studies are ongoing for long term results as well. Pfizer seeking emergency use expansion in this age group by the end of February. But those familiar with the process say it could be as late as the end of March.